my brothers and sisters out there in the world this is your boy fat boy fish right now i just want to take this time to thank every single person out there that's been mess messaging me and inspiring me i want to take this time right now to show y'all you know what i'm saying i really appreciate y'all for taking this time out just to, to inspire me y'all you know what i'm saying man? you know what i'm saying because i'm looking at y'all like y'all are actual inspiration and what I know about life, you can either make somebody or you can break them. And in this instant in time, I'm letting you know right now, you made my day. So what is y'all going to do? Is you going to make somebody day? Make them have a good day? Or are you going to make them have a worse day? It's all on you. Now, the people who I'm talking about, I can sit here and throw out names, but you already know who you are. And I would like to thank y'all from the bottom of my heart. Now, what else do I want to say? Oh, we're going to do a little comparisons today. We is. Just a little small comparisons. Now, white folks, white folks of America, if you truly want to know how I feel about you, I want you tonight to go home, grab your Bible, and find the story about Jonas and the well. Because that's how I, I truly feel about y'all. I really do. If I had to compare, excuse me, if I had to compare how I feel me and Jonas would be quite similar because we feel the same so if you want to get inside of, of the mind of fat boy fish remember I don't hate y'all but if you want to know how I feel go read the story about Jonas and the well now to this comparison that I wanted to talk about now when Bill Clinton left office he left uh, he left a positive amount of money so the nation was not in debt okay now George W Bush if he if he had his hands on the stock market crashing i don't know y'all but the biggest thing that that drove him to spend trillions of trillions of money was the lie he t he said about weapons of mass destruction yes now barack hussein obama now mr obama one of his things was he would always blame bush for the current situation that he is in now i see the same thing going out with trump now this should be a precursor when you see trump get on the news and he started dry snitching on obama that's a precursor to me that's my creme de la y'all it, it really is because when i see things like this it lets me know the pathway that our our nation is headed on because as you seen like with obama obama would always blame somebody else now you seen uh trump on the tv last night dry snitching on obama he has to set himself apart if trump wants to be looked at as a different type of president he can't go through this following chain that you see me do with my comparison far as uh george w bush to obama to, to clinton now with this cursor that he's letting you know automatically all the way he's his him and it, it doesn't necessarily have to be obama is somebody in his cabinet and they're 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 sabotaging my moves he as a president if he wants to be looked at as different he has to stand on his own two feet as a man as a president and do what he has to do he can't be blaming other people for his snap his setbacks or his folly he has to man up as a president and take on the responsibilities and do what he has to do best if he's not gonna do this and he's gonna fall through the same loop that all the other presidents did oh it's that president fault he the reason why i'm doing what i'm what i'm doing you can't do that you can't do that on on good standing and think that the american citizens is going to consider you to be differently than any other president that we have seen in the last 20 years of american history so to see to see trump up there dry snitching on obama that made my whole day y'all y'all just don't know because i already see the precursor the pathway that america is headed down and if you can't see it i suggest my brothers and sisters you open up your eyes because everything that is to come is right in your face right now and i and i hate when people look at a certain situation and they can't come to uh, a conclusion on what's gonna happen you should already know what's happened with everything that's been said and everything that's going down right now now I'm